congratulations on a, on a great win. It was kind of a little dicey there in the second quarter, but uh, what was the difference? It was a big third quarter, so what was the big difference there? I mean, I think it was our energy coming out of half. We knew that they were going to come out and really try to get after us. And I think that being able to run motion and set good screens, they couldn't handle it. And so we kind of got back to our basics on that and were able to just get scores and get stops like we usually do. Well, how much too? I know Haley went stopped to a great start, but then got the 2,000 went out and didn't come back in until till, till the third quarter. How big was it to have her back on the floor, especially after the start that she had? I mean, it's huge. Uh, we are so much better both on defense and also with babies on the court. So when she got in foul trouble, I think that was one of the main reasons why we started struggling a little bit more. We were not sure what we were doing, but uh, yeah, as I say, it's huge to have her on the court. Like she does everything, so you know that she's gonna be there no matter what. So uh, I think that's uh, a big thing on our team having baby on the court. And Carla, there was a stretch there where it looked like with Bailey out and then paying a lot of attention to Marta, where you felt like, did you have some things that you saw that you were able to get open for shots and get to the basket a little bit better in that second quarter? I think I just took where they, where they opened me because they were paying so much attention to our shooters, Marta and Taylor. And I think when attacking the rim, I got open and then my shots started falling. So it was a good start and I'm glad we get to keep that close until Bailey. How did you guys feel like you did defense? I mean, obviously there's a, a big post presence there, and shooting guards. I know some guards made some shots, but you know, were, were you happy with the way you guys played defensively for the most part with so many things to be concerned about with this team? Yeah, I mean, I think we did. We knew that their post player was going to come in. She was really strong. She had a great game the last game that they had, and so that was a big focus in our practices of being able to help off. Like, Marta did a great job helping off. Um, and really, like our guards, as always, did good on their guards, um, kind of keeping them to as few shots as possible. But yeah, I mean, I think our defense really executed what the plan was. It got pretty intense there in what, the late third and the fourth quarter. What was that like out there when you know you had calls going this way and that way? And the crowd. I mean, what was that like you know, feeding off the energy that was going on right there for any? Uh, it was it, it was super nice playing it in front of this crowd. And I feel like every time they get up, they get so much energy to you. So even if the calls are not coming to our way, I think that kept us going and they kept us going all the time. So it's so much easier to play when you have them as your sixth player. For sure. Marta or even Bailey, obviously you guys have come up with big games and at big times, but you know, Carl had a big game now as a freshman. Quinn had a big three late that really Kind of, kind of ice the game, I guess. Just talk about, I mean, you know, the more these games are played, you know, the bigger they get, but it didn't seem like it phases two, these two freshmen very much. It doesn't. I mean, they've stepped up in ways that I don't think anyone could have imagined at the beginning of the year, and their growth throughout this year, you could see it. Like, they're playing with confidence, they're playing with poise, and that's what we need right now because they're a huge part in what we do. And so, having those two in like Quinn, even coming off the bench, is a big lift for us, like you said. It's just team basketball that's really got us this far. Marta, you, you and Bailey have been to this point the second round of the last couple of years. Was there something that you kind of took from the last couple of years that maybe willed you pass this one to get to the third round for the first uh, time in your careers? I mean, not really. Every game is different. Every year is different. But uh, <laughs> I, I personally had some, like, you know, it's my last year. I kind of want to get past the second round at least. And I mean, keep playing at home. I think that's huge for us, uh, for all the fans that are coming. Um, so we'll just take on whoever comes here next and we'll play our best and we'll try our best to just keep going. Would you like to get a chance at St. Mary's again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. <laughs> but they're tough, so. <laughs> also, not really. <laughs> so when you girls had a pick, would you like St. Mary's or would you like Pepperdine? I haven't watched Pepperdine uh, at all, yeah. so I really don't know what they would I mean, I also think that it would be interesting to play in St. Mary's again because we played them like, what was it, the second game yeah. of the season? Yeah, on their court. Yeah, we played them there. The the so um, yeah. I feel like if we play St. Mary's, we have a chance to see how much we've grown, how much we've improved. And also playing them at home, I think, I mean, we, we had a good chance to beat them there. So I think we have a bigger chance to beat them 